Hello team and welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map today in a 3v3 between Alpha Team and Bravo Team as always. And on Alpha Team is Alex Donald Roland, aka ADR in blue. And I, Elbanan, we're gonna call Red Elbanan today. Uh, Evil Lobster is in orange and on Bravo Team Astra is in teal. Vast Vast is in pink and Flying Luigi is in green. Alpha Team has spawned on, spawned on the right hand side of the map. Evil Lobster in the back here, Elbanan in red, and then ADR right here on this peninsula, and then Bravo Team. Luigi is here, Astra in the back, and Vast Vast is going to be at the front lines. We saw this triple dock start from ADR, so the plan is probably to move some units down to the southern part of the map, and then some, some landings across the water potentially at some point. Two towns, three of a lobster going for the eco start and no production yet, and then a mix of eco and one factory for Albanan, who is going to face a lot of units from pink very quickly as Vast Vast ramps up on two factories and two barracks. There's airports going for helicopters from Astra, and then a barracks and factory mix from Luigi in the center of the map. There's two ways that this can go in the north. It's either going to turn into a fight where both players are pushing or potentially just big defensive lines that kind of block up this choke. And over time, it'll be even harder for both teams to push through it. Airport for ADR. With a barracks here, it could be commandos. It could also be strikers, bombers. Any of them really work. Helicopters would also be suitable. So really, it could be any plane out of Blue's airport. That's the commentary for you. And a third factory for Vast Vast. This is going to be a lot of units. Red is now putting... Elbanan's putting down some, some producers now. Seeing some of these pink units very close. Both teams will know that there are two players on different teams very close to each other in the north. And Vast Vast is the first one to start digging in. And Elbanan puts this factory very close to the front. There's actually one tank for Elbanan as well. No energy wells that red controls, so there will have to be some teamwork for either blue or yellow to supply the energy for these tanks. Rather, I mean, unless uh, the plan here from Evil Officer is to move command these infantry so that the red folks keep capping. Yeah, this is nice. So this is, I assume what's happening here is that Red's going to cap this territory that will give access to this refinery, or this this oil well, up rather. Energy well, whatever we're calling them, I never know. The place where you get the energy. Blue's going to have a huge energy usage here off of the three docks and one airport. But thankfully, ADR has these two wells right beside the airport with the first infantry going across the blue water the best of blues shouts out to infenzi i don't know is that like you just like html color code pick this water it's a good pick this digging from red is going to be it just is super late there's no real way that this is going to get sorted before pink is on top of all these units and when the red units dig in they take 10 percent fatigue damage i think something along those lines So meaning that this artillery piece is already kind of damaged even though it's sitting in this defensive line. The tank will help out. The second tank won't really be here in time. And now it really just depends if Pink wants to commit or back up. And it seems like the artillery is actually going to go into this defensive line, but nothing else. I don't understand what I'm even seeing here on the replay because this is a capture command. It, it doesn't look like a defensive line command. But it is what it is. It's a lot of cruisers and missile boats for ADR, which is the perfect... If you're maxing out units for Navy, that's exactly the composition you probably want. At a certain point, once you have enough boats, destroyers, and their stealth detection, it. It doesn't really matter anymore. You have enough boats that can see everything anyway. You can see what one of the plans is with the lines for El Banan is just to use the tanks to try to go around the outside, go around this, this edge of the defensive line. 
With just two tanks, it's not going to be all that successful. And Vast, Vast, and Bravo Team just in general continue to eco up. And Luigi's going to have a big force of infantry and artillery that is going to run into blue at some point. I would expect that ADR is going to put down some sort of producer here. Potentially a factory, barracks. There's all these mountain ranges which are great defensive lines once Luigi gets to this point in the map. And Bravo Team's first naval presence is these two docks from Astra. It, like naval supremacy is one of those things that if ADR can fully lock down the sea, it makes it very difficult for Alpha or Bravo Team. It kind of restricts their movement. Blue blue ships could go down here and start shelling at these units. Uh, they could technically go around the bottom here and then also, you know, shell from the southern side of this. So this becomes a very difficult choke for Blue to push through. And then same sort of thing up here. Blue boats can help out Red in this defense. Those two tanks, they did go down, and Astra's first helicopters are making their way to the front lines. Third dock from Astra, which will make a lot of sense if there can be some number of boats that Bravo Team gets up to fight off ADR's navy, but there's three strikers for ADR already, which will be very helpful in, in winning this fight. This impending naval fight. Okay, I can get rid of the, the timer, I usually do that. But forgot. Defensive lines are pretty strong. It's kind of tough for either players or either team really to, to push through these defensive lines without overwhelming numbers. Which it looks like neither team really has that at the moment. And a rocket from Evil Lobster. I think this makes a lot of sense. This is in a good location. It can definitely lock down this choke. It'll be useful if... Red starts getting overrun and it needs to be a defensive rocket and then also an offensive rocket. It's very good at destroying this entrenched line and so that Red and Yellow can start, you know, winning the game and going to the left-hand side of the map. But look at this, Astra, or rather this is Luigi with an equivalent rocket. And Lobster's got enough money that the rocket's going to go on the stand immediately. There it is with those four fins, I suppose. And ADR adds that second refinery and nearly has an airport full of strikers. There's two things that ADR can do. I suppose there's actually three. One is to just stop at five planes. Once there's five planes on the airport, no more are produced. The more likely of, of options is that Blue is going to build an airstrip somewhere to transfer these planes or potentially even an aircraft carrier it could be very useful if blue has this naval advantage and naval control i suppose the fourth option is actually just to aggressively use these strikers and you know if they die they die type thing and then as the room is opened on the airport blue can continue to make more strikers astra has a decent amount of helicopters they're pretty close to the front. The launch pad for Luigi is almost done, but Alpha Team will certainly have the rocket first. And while there's not really many Sams here, these strikers are gonna have a decent time. They're not really setting up a push. I don't think red and yellow are in a position to actually want to push, even if the strikers did clear up a lot of these artillery pieces. This is mostly just a stalemate. And four missile boats, is good against the strikers it won't be nearly enough against whatever this is five cruisers and you know seven missile boats this is adr digging in these mountains as i mentioned these are good defensive locations and then it's really up to luigi whether green wants to continue pushing it doesn't look all that attractive if you're luigi you just see these first few infantry but you might assume if you're green that blue has some producers down here so the further you venture into the mountains, the tougher that fight becomes. Airstrip behind these two refineries for ADR, so the strikers will continue to get produced. And the launch pad is one, or the rocket itself is one third of the way done.
This depot is up. It's not really connected to anything yet, but yellow is going to need to get energy, and that's what Evil Lobster is doing. To launch a rocket, it requires 40 energy, which is what well, only one refinery can't doesn't contain 40 energy. You need at least a, a refinery and a power plant, uh, or a refinery hooked up to a depot, or a power plant hooked up to a depot to store that energy. Vast Fast also going for a rocket extremely close. This might be so close that Alpha Team can see it. It is. Because of how many Alpha Team units are here, collectively they have the vision to see this far. Because Alpha Team knows they already have a rocket ready to go, I don't think this is that big of a concern. It's not going to induce Alpha Team to push through this, this defensive line. Because this rocket pad, this launch pad is also in range of yellow's launch pad and a rocket can one hit a launch pad so in some sense this is actually very good for alpha team the helicopters will be nice with this coastal defense from astra but now i'm wondering where the hell where are there more helicopters oh they were going down to the south to try to help out luigi here Luigi's building a little bit of a production center in the south that makes a lot of sense to try to reinforce this. This is, I think, a very important part of the map. Obviously, the northern part is a little bit more impactful. But the south is also very important. It's a lot of eco. And if uh, Luigi can get a foothold in the south, there's also the chance that there can be some airports built here that can strike directly at ADR's base. Blue cruisers are sort of in trouble. If they destroy one more of the docks, I almost think that it's worth it. But this is so many helicopters and enough boats from Astra. Cruisers do decent at their anti-air, but there's just so many more numbers for Teal here. And an absolute mess up the front of artillery pieces and four brave tanks that are trying their best. Rocket is nearly complete. It's just putting the finishing touches on the top cone and Vast Vast is, or pardon me, Astra's rocket is, pardon me, <laughs> Luigi's rocket. What is this? Is this teal? This is teal. Okay, so this is Astra's rocket. Astra's rocket is about two thirds of the way done. And if we go top down, it's a split map. And I'm not sure who has more eco being built, who has more of an income advantage. It's kind of tough to see in team games. But this is going to change the complexion of this game because it's going to allow red and yellow to push. I assume red and yellow are going to push here with this overwhelming unit advantage. And Vast Vast hasn't started this rocket yet. Astra's rocket would be complete in time by the time uh, like yellow and red would get to destroying Vast Vast's base. I think that's the map. This is not that long from completing. And Lobster built a second launch pad to go for double rockets. There's still a decent amount of eco potential for Alpha Team. And same with Bravo team. Astra has a city on the way. And then Luigi added the second factory. Not really much going on in the south. The defensive lines as close as they possibly can be without the units shooting at each other in them. I, I definitely expected that red and yellow were going to push. But that is not the case. Here comes Astra's rocket. And now we'll depend if Bravo team would like to push. Perfect location for Astra to send that rocket. It pretty much gets all the units. It got all the SAMs, which is important because it lets these teal helicopters, if they wanted, they could attack all these units without really being shot down. 
Astra's still on two dock production and ADR is still on three dock, so Blue is still building more boats than Teal is. Teal is electing to go for entirely cruisers, it seems. Which kind of evens it out. And now Alpha Team's in a little bit of a weird situation because they can see this rocket being built. And there's knowledge that there's already another rocket that exists. There's already another launch pad. So they're behind on the rocket race. I suppose is what we could call this. Evil Lobster has a, a rocket on the way off that second launch pad. But the first launch pad has not started creating a rocket yet. So this is the plan. Alpha Team is a little bit cognizant that this is a problem, this launch pad. Good movement of the SAMs by Vast Fast to intercept all those helicopters. And if one gets out, I think that's a good thing. There you go. What so happen, often happens in naval battles is one player will overextend and then the other player will just rush to the coast, destroy all the docks, and then have naval supremacy the rest of the game in general. It's very hard to get naval supremacy back once you've lost it, especially if, you know, ADR doesn't take the foot off the gas and continues to build boats. This is a lot of planes for ADR. Two airplanes worth at this point. And they are target commanding these barracks. There's not really enough strikers to actually destroy these barracks in one go. I think the idea from ADR is to try to target command all three of those barracks, but it just turns out that there's actually four SAMs here. If the SAMs weren't there, the strikers probably would have been able to destroy all those barracks. I mean, you can judge for yourself who you think was going to win in this fight, teal or blue. The, the bigger cruiser count is good for teal. More boats and closer air reinforcements is good for blue. In a game with already a lot of launch pads, there's another one added to the mix. El Banan is building this launch pad, and Vast Vast has a city on the way in the top left. The city being worth 10 territories worth of income, which is pretty good. Nice work by ADR to move all these units of Evil Lobster, and I assume these other blue infantry across, since they're done capping the far right of the map. some good micro from both players with the navy as mentioned it's just so such a tightrope when you're when you're fighting navies in this game if you mess up or if you run out of energy you can lose all the boats it's not extremely important that blue keeps this refinery alive because of these other two refineries and this this depot full of energy that's saved up So whether blue retreats or not, it doesn't really matter. Worst case for blue is to lose all of those blue boats and then teal pushes towards the blue docks. Astra's rocket is nearly complete. This second one of the game, Vast Fast adding these two airports that are building helicopters now. Helicopters can attack strikers, and you can see them doing that with the, their rockets. They don't do all that much damage. Interceptors are still the best unit to actually attack other air units, but it can add up. And this is looking good for Teal, I want to say. These strikers, these blue strikers are running out of ammunition. They're not shooting rockets anymore. And the missile boats for Astra are going to get one more final shot. I thought they were going to destroy that, that striker. And nice work from ADR to defend this for now. 
this is a very strong move. This is something that I mean, we see players use relatively often, but it really is a super effective way to get around defensive lines. The blue units only get their defensive bonus when they're facing forward, and I think it's like 160 degrees or something. And so if you're attacking from behind, these blue units are in a lot of trouble. And this is going to open up green to actually push and then probably take this peninsula. There are five Sams here for green, which is at this point after all those, some of the blue strikers were destroyed, it's probably enough to actually deal with any air support that blue's going to send down here. And here comes our fourth rocket, third rocket of the game from Evil Lobster. Sorry, fifth rocket of the game from Vass, from Astra, rather. Nice play. That launch pad is going to be destroyed. So are all those units in the front line. Neither team really in a position to push. If anything, it's going to be Bravo team that could push at this point. But they seemed a little bit hesitant to do it the first time, so I'm not sure if they will do it this time. This is a nice play from, from ADR to send one missile boat down. Over time, this missile boat can actually destroy some of those transport blo boats, bloats, uh, unless all the transport boats ganged up and started fighting the missile boat at once. Vasvas building a, another launch pad. This one cannot be seen by Alpha Team. This rocket might get shot down. It didn't get shot down. <laughs> so there you go. This I think this is a good push from Bravo team. I think this is the right move to make. There's really not all that many units here for Alpha team. And ADR is not really in a position to actually help out in the north because of this naval battle and then also losing this peninsula. I suppose at this point, the peninsula is just kind of lost. I like these barracks from Evil Lobster. And ADR has a completed rocket. There's no real obvious place to use this rocket if you're blue. There's not enough boats of teal to make it all that worth it. In the south, blue could use the rocket here, but it doesn't really do anything strategically. It just delays green from taking the whole peninsula and I think the deciding factor for why this is a good push from Bravo team is because there's no SAMs here for Alpha team and these helicopters are just getting infinite value there's not enough infantry either with small arms fire to destroy the helicopter I feel like I hear a rocket yes we do from ADR. This is a nice play. Destroying three docks is nice. I would have thought all three docks would be destroyed, but even two of them is kind of fine. Blue's still pushing on three docks. There's another rocket. How many rockets are we doing? What are we doing? All right, so the, the north is just the wasteland. There's nothing to do up here. Neither team's really finding all that much success in actually pushing. And because there's there's three launch pads on Alpha Team's side, and then three launch pads on Bravo Team's side, both teams are kind of guaranteeing that th there's not really going to be any meaningful progress made in these big stalemates. We're seeing Evil Lobster do the same sort of strat that Luigi did in the south. But this time with commandos, I believe. Yes, this boat is full of four miniature commandos that are going to unload right on this town. Nice job from Vastfast to have some amount of garrison. These, these six infantry are going to be very important. The helicopters are nice. They could also do the job of defending, but the infantry will also help grant vision of the commandos since they're so sneaky with their stealth. And besides these two barracks of infantry that are going to dig in, so Alpha Team has some sort of present on that presence on that southern peninsula. 
it looks like Elf Team's kind of given up in the south. Alpha Team's got three rockets on the way, one of which is nearly complete. I suppose it's four rockets on the way, with if you count ADR as one in the south. Blue using this attack command from the airplanes, signified by this cloud, meaning every single plane will respond to this command to get a better angle to go around these SAMs instead of approaching directly and then getting shot down by the SAM. So nice play from Blue. Elbin Ann going for a tank run by right as Evil Lobster destroys that town. There is a small chance that these four commandos would be able to destroy this city, but th with the helicopters and the infantry already there, nice reaction time from Vast Vast. It's probably not as likely. And then, yeah, Yellow's going to do just the great move, which is then to switch up the landing location and then instead go to this town from Pink. What a game. If we go top down, it's probably a little bit more for Bravo team just because of the Southern Peninsula. There are two cities on Alpha Team's side of the map, and there are three cities on Bravo Team's side. Which long term is good for Bravo Team. Two rockets being launched, three rockets being launched, four rockets. No, there's not a fourth rocket, there's just three rockets being launched here. So one refinery is destroyed this town. I think towns would be destroyed on a direct hit, and it is. And just more attrition. The yellow commandos have been cleaned up in the top left. Orange commandos, whatever color we're calling this. And one Sam for Vast Vast isn't going to be able to defend against these three helicopters, which are target commanding the town. I, ca I like this this uh, retreat from Orange. I think with the three helicopters, even though these pink helicopters would have been hitting them, this is a very damaged town. But even so, Orange probably would have traded at least probably all of the helicopters realistically. This rocket is still on the way from Vast Vast. This is Alpha Team's vision, so there's not enough Alpha Team units around to cumulatively see this launch pad at anymore. Before it was different because of the size of the defensive lines and how many units were there. And ADR, same thing. This many strikers, they can't see this launch pad. Launch pads have uh, they come with stealth stealth as a default, as a building. You don't need to put them into the mountains or the forests necessarily to get the stealth bonus. Just as a building type, it has stealth. And our first interceptors of the game, which are the coolest unit in Line War, it's already known. It's a very well-known fact in the community. These are, uh, it, it looks like, is it just one? It's just one interceptor for Astra? I like it even more. ADR could use this rocket probably to destroy this green force. It's a lot of SAMs that are dug in, and SAMs that are dug in have more range. So there's a chance that the teal SAMs, or the green SAMs rather, could shoot down this blue rocket. My guess is that Bravo team is winning, but I still think this could go either way. It's four launch pads with rockets on Bravo team's side, as opposed to the three for Alpha team in the north. Okay, never mind. Bravo Team's going to win this game. There's no way that Alpha Team's going to be able to stop this, and this is going to be a lot of eco. Maybe if this 
rocket lands and then orange can successfully push down the peninsula but it's going over the defensive line so it's going to get shot down and it does that's usually that's what i'm used to when i launch rockets in the game is that they just get shot down all right very short rocket launch probably not even that cost effective but i mean at this point does it really matter with how many rockets are going on i, I can't even know, i don't even know where this is going just at the town it's gonna get two sams into town somebody smarter than me can do the math for whether this is cost efficient pink would have spent 300 money on the town i don't even know how much on the sams like 150 on the sams or something And the rocket costs 500. I mean, this is very nice. Now that uh, Luigi is just dug in here with the artillery pieces, they'll slowly chip away at all these infantry. Even if the infantry got out of this defensive line and tried to move forward, there's not really enough of them to make a meaningful break. If there were no Sams here with Green's, Ar Green's army, maybe the blue strikers would be able to stop this landing from happening, but there are a lot of Sams that are coming along for the ride. And these are good attempts from Eva Lobster. It's one of the best ways to get back into the game is to, to try to find openings with commandos, snipe cities, snipe towns, cause general panic in your opponent's back lines. But this will be a game changer. ADR is starting to send some blue units down to defend. And the problem is, even if what's going on in the bottom right corner induces Alpha Team to try to push through the north, it's pretty much impossible when there's three launch pads. Where is this? This is going at, towards the buildings. And this is going to hit the Navy. Nice rocket by Astra. Then at the very least, now Teal's going to be able to cap this territory so that Blue can't rebuild a refinery. Sam's with their firecrackers attacking these infantry. Sam's are the coolest unit in line war. It's already been decided. Ask anyone. And Astra already has another rocket that's ready to go and two rockets that are a third of the way done. Whereas Alpha Team doesn't have any rockets ready to go. Luigi, my bet is that there's going to be a lot of green buildings that are placed in the bottom right very soon. And top down. Mostly a split map, of course, but this is starting to erode for Alpha Team. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, AI is out in Line War. In case you're wondering, you can play single player, you can play uh, 2v1 against the AI with a friend. Check it out, check out the Steam page for more details. But to very emphatically, AI is in the game. EA AI Sports, it's in the game. ADR is at 611 income at this point. A lot of this is being taken by Luigi in the bottom right. And there's no real way that Alpha Team is going to be able to get back into this game. I think it's only a matter of time and a matter of rockets. 
Astra's already sw switched to bomber production. And I think switching to bomber production is one of the indications that that team has kind of won the game. Because once, you, once you're free to sit back and just build bombers the whole time, you can get a huge swarm of them. They have the great range. They're good at destroying buildings. GG well played. All six. Do we get graphs for this? Is it only 1v1s that don't work? No, we don't get graphs. Well, I, th I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the cast. Thank you for the support on the channel, however you do so, just by watching the video, liking the video, of course, commenting and subbing as it all helps the channel grow. Like I said, check out the Line War Steam page for more info on the game, or check out the Line War Discord where you can ask questions, hang out, just, you know, learn about the game and ask folks who are very interested about the game and their opinions and all sorts of things. But uh, see you next Friday, of course, for a video. And uh, have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Peace, folks.